Hello, I'm Nick Stewart, Senior Analyst for Consumer Products with RSM. I'm here with Igor Filetsky from Salesforce, and we're here to talk about trends and how Salesforce can really help us get through the next year and really looking at what trends are out there in the marketplace and how Salesforce can help companies get through it. So Igor, give yourself a quick introduction. Hi everybody, Igor Filetsky, VP of Product at Salesforce Commerce Cloud. Salesforce is the leading enterprise retail commerce platform powering billions of shopper journeys every year around the world. One of the really interesting things that I found recently was that you know, companies are talking about restarting their growth goals and, and, and building new locations and stores, saying that some of those physical locations really are um, driving growth for the coming year. When you start thinking about you know, how that new store growth goes into people's plans within your tech stack, what are, you, what are you really thinking about for new store growth and how companies should be looking at that as they grow with their technology platform? I think in the post-pandemic world, when you think about retail, it's important to be digital first, right? So even folks that go to stores will do their research on their tablet, phone, and desktop before. So I think thinking about journeys starting online and then being supported in store uh, uh, is, is really important. And I think that changes how we think about where to put stores, how big they should be, uh, what experience in the store is worth it for the shopper to go in and actually spend the time on to make it more experiential. I think it's really important. So it's not just about covering uh, the, the region with as many stores as you can, it's about blending the digital and the physical journey into one amazing experience that stands out that shoppers will come back for again and again. So I think this holistic thinking and having data underneath the hood to make direct investments is very important for every retailer uh, out there right now. Everybody's really excited about AI and what possibilities are out there for technology. You know, most of them are at the beginning of that journey. Um, they're really only beginning to think about how they think about data. What are you guys seeing as far as with your customers and what you're bringing to market around AI and how should companies be thinking about data? At Salesforce, we invested in um, Einstein GPT, which is our approach to AI with a trust layer mm -hmm. that protects uh, your data and makes sure it stays uh, with you. And then uh, picks the right model based on the kind of AI experience you want to create, whether it's helping write copy for different product descriptions or helping set up promotions for your store. Or maybe over time going to more like image generation or rich video that can be created much faster um, based on your initial reel with AI. So it's a huge, huge productivity wave that I think we're lucky to have. The other important part of AI is data. Without data, we don't really have a good case uh, to drive these, public, these features. So for us, data cloud has been a big driver. The other side of AI is helping customers store data uh, in one place, capture you know, behaviors of their audiences in one place, look at quick segmentation, uh, trends across their, their audiences globally, digitally and in-store, and then use that data to power innovative AI use cases. So I would say a data strategy is a prerequisite for a successful AI journey, and I would recommend our customers out there and brands out there to invest in both data uh, governance as well as try AI tools as early as this year because they're very powerful already and they're going to get only better in the years to come. It's super exciting time to be in uh, e-commerce space with AI entering right now. The other piece that I know our CFOs and CEOs are talking about is as they scale in a really tight labor market, how do they leverage technologies that they have in their current tech stacks or ones that they're looking at you know, to really get more out of their workforces and automate some of the manual tasks out there? First of all, your experts can get even more done because they can outsource part of their job to an AI tool and just be there to control the output, to validate everything, make sure there's no hallucinations um, uh, in the output. So that's, that's really a really powerful way to scale your experts to do more. At the same time, AI is helping new talent onboard much faster, right? No more waiting weeks and months to get the documentation, on enablement. Uh, I see brands deploying chatbots that can train uh, new staff really quickly to get them productive as, as quickly as possible. So I think there's a use case out there for everybody and uh, documentation, copywriting uh, are some of the initial wins that I see a lot of brands invest in and get a lot more for, uh, for their buck. Igor, great insights. Really, um, I feel like our CFO is going to be interested in some of the things you had to say, some of the technologies that are out there. Where can they find more information about what we talked about today? Having me today, uh, definitely salesforce.com is a great resource, and also Salesforce Live, which is our video platform for a lot of keynotes from NRF uh, today, uh, Dreamforce, are all there to help you learn and learn more about the trends.